Lord to give us the courage to worship the American flag, be it on a car, a belt buckle, or on your holy person. My caramba! I'd like to say something about the current climate of repression and fear. Oh, put a fork in it. Sit down, Saddam. Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. That's from the First Amendment to the Constitution. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I'm sure your opinion will not go unnoticed. Simpson, you're under arrest for the violation of the Government Knows Best Act. Martha, play something to lighten the mood. I'm eating peanuts and cracker deck. I don't care. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe they put us in jail. It's not a jail. It's a re-education center. Well, where do you think we are? Well, let's see. After they blindfolded us, it was left, right, left, then a three-hour plane ride. Do you get time off for snitching on your cellmates? <laughs> you were right, homie. We shouldn't have rocked the boat. And none of this would have ever happened. Well, we're not the only ones to be unjustly imprisoned. Check out all the left. Elmo go to wrong fundraiser. Bill Clinton, what are you doing here? Uh, I call the Republican tax cuts unwise, and I stand by it. They're unwise. I want my Washington Post. Here's your Washington Post. Look at that, Clinton. You traitors, pipe down. You're all here because you hate freedom. I'm here because I said imported wines are better than Napa Valley. Yeah? Well, why don't you take a Napa? Oh! My only crime was driving a truck full of explosives in from Canada. <sighs> I don't know why they put the real ones in with the joke ones. <laughs> Hello, I'm the U.S. Constitution, and I'm over 200 years old, but I'm feeling fine. I wish I could say the same for my crazy cousin, Bill O. Rights. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Lisa, that's not funny. You believe in the Bill of Rights. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the lack of sleep, the sodium pentothal, or that it's the only cartoon I've seen in two months. But this is what I believe in now. Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. That's from the First Amendment to the Constitution. Thank you, Lisa. I'm sure your opinion will not go unnoticed. Simpson, you're under arrest for the violation of the Government Knows Best Act. Convergence of globalization and technology has created a new brand of terrorism. There were persons who, for whatever reason, came to view their home country as the enemy the kind of right-wing, religious-based domestic terrorism. Disturbing news tonight about homegrown terror. Part of this is a big change in the White House, a new cultural experience, and some of the crazies are coming out of their closet. Right now, it looks like there is no connection between the men arrested and any known terrorist cell. Homegrown. Uh, yeah, homegrown, I should say. Uh, folks, we've got a very serious situation here. I'm holding what is called the right-wing extremism, current economic and political climate, fueling resurgence and radicalization and recruitment. And in it, we talked about the fact that they define pro-lifers as domestic terrorists. They put this in a Department of Homeland Security uh, document, this official assessment, now saying pro-lifers, people that believe in end-time prophecies, people that are opposed to the administration's position on immigration, uh, those of us that are standing up for the sanctity of life and for the sanctity of marriage, all of those are now potential, and this is what they're saying, domestic terrorists. It's a terrorist next door that could be our bigger threat. They call people who believe in the sanctity of life, who believe in owning firearms, who believe in serving their country in the military and coming back, who are very concerned about the policies that this nation is embarking on, spending too much money, taxing too much. It's all listed right here. These are the domestic right-wing extremists. You traitors pipe down. You're all here because you hate freedom. 
In 1942, the United States government forcibly relocated over 112,000 Japanese nationals and Japanese Americans to remote housing facilities called war relocation camps for the purpose of detainment, re-education, and forced labor. Of those interned, 62% were United States citizens. I can't believe they put us in jail. It's not a jail, it's a re-education center. Over the last decade, we've seen the introduction and enactment of some of the most dangerous legislation ever to be conceived by our elected officials, who have not forgotten who they serve, but only now reveal to the American people through the fruit of their own actions that our rights and our freedoms are secondary. The USA Patriot Act allows for American citizens to be picked up and incarcerated indefinitely without charges and allows law enforcement to conduct warrantless and secret searches of Americans' property and possessions. The Military Commissions Act dissolved the cornerstone of our Constitution by removing the writ of habeas corpus, allowing the permanent imprisonment of enemy combatants, and disallowing petitions to the court to know why you've been locked up in the first place. Although never passed by the Senate, the violent radicalization and Homegrown Terrorism Prevention Act shows us the mindset of our leaders in Washington. If passed into law, the bill would make public demonstrations and protesting into an act of terrorism and label the organizers as thought criminals and potential homegrown terrorists. Now that the federal government has the authority to sneak, snatch, and lock up its own citizens, a new bill has been introduced by Congress that gives the feds a place to hold those outspoken dissenters and potential domestic terrorists. The National Emergency Centers Establishment Act, or H.R. 645, allocates military bases to be converted into FEMA emergency centers. It also mandates that these camps be built complete with public works, medical, and educational facilities just like the Japanese internment camps of the 1940s. Lisa, that's not funny. You believe in the Bill of Rights. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the lack of sleep, the sodium pentothal, or that it's the only cartoon I've seen in two months, but this is what I believe in now. <laughs> <laughs>